What's up guys? It's your buddy Bulldozer Man. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Nemesis. Okay, last time Nemesis didn't leave me off very well. I was actually in poor enough shape I actually had to use the first aid spray, but as you can see here, I replayed the last session and I did a lot better. <laughs> I should get some full heals here, which I'm actually going to yank out, because if memory serves, we've got a couple of encounters with the Nemesis <laughs> coming up here. And as you can see, I got more ammo for the you know, freeze rounds for the <laughs> grenade launcher, so... Yeah, assuming we can find a good spot to fight him, we're definitely in good shape here. Oh, stupid zombie. I managed to dodge him the last time I did this section. Oh. <laughs> oh, what wouldn't you want, Maggie? <sighs> oh well. We got birds here. We're gonna ignore them. Head into this area. We may want to get the grenade launcher ready, cuz. I think some of you who are familiar with this game knows what's coming. Stars. There he is. The Nemesis. <laughs> yeah, you see that? That's what I like about the freeze rounds. Sometimes, even if they miss him, like, he somehow still gets hit by them and gets frozen. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah. You don't like that, do ya? Bam! Let me go. Get up, get up, get up, get up! Whoa. That was too close. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucks to be you, Nemesis. <laughs> Man. Yeah, you know what? I only used one of my herbs. I kicked his ass there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, now I gotta turn around and... Actually, you know what? This juncture, I think I'm free to go ahead and use up the shotgun, because, you know, we're about to unload it got the custom parts to make a brand new shotgun, which is pretty cool. Dodge you. Because I actually dodged it this time. <laughs> Stupid zombie. Yeah, those freeze rounds. <laughs> if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Those freeze rounds mess Nemesis up. Like, jeez, it's like, you might as well be, like, I don't know, blasting him with, like, with a freaking nuclear bomb or something. Anyway. Oh, yes. Look at this. The Western Custom. That is a beautiful shotgun. We got a nice amount of shells for it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use up this old shotgun. Just cause, well, you know, we don't need two shotguns, so. Let's use up this one's ammo. Two? Have some fun. Bam! Bam. Which is a good thing, because I think there's going to be a few zombies between us and the uh, <laughs> cable car. And by the way, I should mention, once we put all the parts into, you know, let like the cable car and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get it working, we cannot come back to these, uh, to these <laughs> early game areas. So, if there's anything you missed, any uh, <laughs> gunpowder or anything, go get it now. Yeah, once you're gone, you cannot return to these areas. Yeah. Yeah, just so you 
you guys are aware of that. Sorry to interrupt your meal. Now I've got places to be. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind using up this shotgun's ammo, because once it's empty, I'm obviously, you know, <laughs> going to dump it in favor of this one. And I'm not a fan of just, you know, dumping this shotgun when it, like, still has ammo in it, so might as well just <laughs> go ahead and use it all up. I don't have my herb on me, so hopefully we'll be okay here, but oh geez, something's happening. Ah. Oh. My word, Joe, you need to oh. lose some weight. <laughs> the floor is crumbling beneath you. Oh, and above you. Yep, that is a nice looking wall. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh. oh man. Hit it. Oh Jesus. So much creepy worm slash <laughs> a tentacle fetish like freaking this uh, snuck its way. Huh? Like freaking. Yeah, yeah, like snuck its way into the game script. <laughs> Run. There's no sense in fighting this monster now. You can't actually kill it, so yeah, don't even bother. Just <laughs> don't even bother wasting ammo. Just hit the switches, lower the ladder, get the hell out of there. Not your dogs, or rather, a dog. I still haven't killed this one. Come on, Fido. <laughs> The silly dogs. And you know what? Just because I can. Bang! <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> nope. I think that was a nice use of our last shell. <laughs> you know, clear. Let the path to get back here. Alright, let's put these items in. And we've done it. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. Ah, uh, poor Nikolai. He, he got eaten by zombies and... Didn't help him. <laughs> uh, point if anybody gets that reference. It's looking good. Alright, here we go. Aboard the train of trainness. <laughs> what does that mean? Don't ask me. I have no idea. Uh oh. Mikhail! Hear the music. Hey, what's going on in the back? Boy. You can tell by the music. Got company. Mikhail! By the way, don't bother fighting him here. There's no point. Just turn around and leave. Chief, get out of the cable car now! Mikhail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Mikhail, it's an FMV sequence. Guns are useless in these sequences. Jeez, uh, uh, did you see the intro? Is gonna hurt in the morning. Mikhail. Uh, poor, poor, poor Mikhail. No, the brakes are out. Uh oh. Ah! All right, think fast. 
the sake of this playthrough, use the emergency brake. I've heard of being railroaded, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> Jeez, how was Jill able to even walk after that? <laughs> Ugh. Woman's got thighs of steel. <laughs> that or just a really, you know, a sturdy head that somehow like absorbed that blow. It's like we're at the clock tower. We got birds after us. Run, not get stuck. Get off me. I want to get these herbs. One. Two. Yay. I'll leave the blue herbs here. I don't really need them. To be honest, I hardly even use them. Shit, come in that way. Uh, I gotta find the way in. I don't remember the way in. Play the game in 15 years? Okay. Alright, good. <laughs> yeah, I was drawing a blank on where to go there because I haven't played in like 15 years. First things first. Let's go in here. Drop these herbs off. There we go. I'll, I'll drop those flame rounds off. Don't really need them. Nor do we need our old shotgun. Obviously not using that. <laughs> there we go. Make our inventory look all pretty. Over here we got some items. We got ooh gunpowder. Enough to make some more freeze rounds. Which is good. Uh, I obviously want one more freeze rounds. Because I don't think I have enough for a... Uh, you know, for a battle... Like... You know, like against Nemesis. Although, these two guns could probably, like, a kick his ass pretty handily. That Western Custom is pretty powerful. It's... A lot faster to shoot, so you know, against Nemesis, it doesn't like freaking leave you exposed for two whole seconds whenever you fire it. Uh oh, something's going on. Uh, let's quickly get the reloading tool out. There, freeze rounds, and you notice. Before, when I made freeze rounds, I only got 10 shots. Now I'm making 11 shots. As you keep making the same kind of ammo, you gradually, you know, <laughs> get better at it and you're able to make more ammo. Like if I make a whole bunch of, you know, like, like, <laughs> you know, ah, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, if you make a lot of ammo for the handgun or shotgun, you'll start making more per or uh, gunpowder you use, and eventually you'll be able to make custom ammo, which is really powerful, but you can only use it in, like, the the original handgun and shotgun. You can't use the enhanced bullets in these weapons. Which is kind of stupid, but uh, I guess they have to uh, balance them somehow. I mean, to be fair, the Western Custom is already pretty, you know, overpowered, like, just as it is. If you, you were to slap enhanced like, shells under that thing, she's probably drop, <laughs> could probably drop Nemesis four bullets. Oh crap! No. Shit! Run! Well, that wasn't fair. Walk back in there and throw a freaking horde at me. Oh! It's Carlos. Carlos? I don't believe it. You're alive. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of this town. What are you talking about? We made it! 
You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No, if we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Falco, slap! <laughs> so that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it. Yeah, I can't handle it. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Carlos, he's good in the remake, but... Man, when he's not, you know, when he's not pissing you off with his all oh, the folksy ladies love my ex and freaking behavior, you know, acting like freaking Johnny Bravo or something. Ugh, he just turns into a whiny little blah, blah, blah. I can't hate it anymore. Ugh. Carlos, I know you've got your fans, but you are just not doing it for me in this game. Glad they fixed you in the remake. Anyway, right here, the mind thrower. Uh, operation instructions, who cares? I don't like the mind thrower. It's really unwieldy to use. I mean, I mean yeah, it's strong. It, you know, it's an explosion, so there you go, but. The problems with this thing are threefold. Number one, it's a projectile, you know, kind of like the <laughs> grenade launcher, so enemies like Nemesis may, you know, <laughs> may, like, be able to actually dodge it. Number two, if you shoot, if you shoot it and then, you know, go into this inventory to, like, reload it, the unexploded mines will actually just vanish. You know? actually do nothing which is really stupid no other weapon in you know like in the history of this franchise as far as i'm aware has ever done that and number three if you do shoot a mine and the target gets you know gets gets close enough to you before it, before it blows up the mine actually damages you what the hell were they thinking the grenade launcher, the rocket launcher, the ordinary grenades, even in RE4. No other game and no other weapon in any of the games has ever harmed you. Except this one. So, this one is really dangerous to use. So, yeah, if you're going to use the mine thrower, use extreme caution. Don't use it on a fast, agile enemy. <laughs> Slightly out of tune. That's an understatement. Uh, I have to this way. I know I'm skipping another first aid spray. I don't want to use first aid sprays. They hurt your grade, so just shut up about it. I didn't want to listen to that twice, but yeah, you want to remember how this how this uh, melody sounds. You're gonna need it for a puzzle later. Anyway, let's go this way. We have a few rooms in the clock tower to explore. Oh, spiders! Spiders! Yep. Looks like the spider is from, you know, from, uh, from freaking Resi 2 are back. That's lovely. Is there an ink ribbon here? Probably not, but I really don't need it. You know, I don't plan to make a lot of saves in this game. Huh. Yeah, I'm freaking dumping the mind for all before it freaking blows me up or something. Ready to go to 8 rounds. Not bad. I should probably... Uh, 
I should probably, you know, keep this for a whirl. In fact, I probably will later. Flame rounds, uh, they can hit an enemy multiple times. Like, I think if you shoot Nemesis with this, the grenade itself damages him, and then he can get hit by, you know, let the flames. But I still think freeze rounds are the best, because they also damage him multiple times, and they slow him down, so. Yeah, flame rounds versus freeze rounds. The freeze rounds are probably still a superior. Yeah, so, in the case of that whole <laughs> debate, I'll obviously be uh, going freeze rounds. Is there anything in here to speak of? I don't think so. Let's see if anything's in here. Alright, I don't really see anything. I don't see any gunpowder or anything. I believe if you choose to jump out jump out of the train instead of using the emergency brake, this is where he, this is where he, yeah you wind up in here and you pretty much get immediately attacked up by a horde of zombies. So yeah, oh, well, I guess we can't combine those yet. So let's go this way. Go this way. God of time, eh? Oh, it's a document there. Let's get that. Then move fast before the spiders, uh, you know, I'll freaking get us. I believe if those spiders hit you, they can actually poison you. So it might be worthwhile to, to keep a, you know, I'll keep a bluer. You know, like one of these uh, blue herbs handy, but then again, there's a whole planter full of them right there. I kiss get poisoned. Yeah, why, why am I going this way? Yeah, filibuster. I went the wrong way. I actually want to go up here. Of custom ready because, yep, here they are the giant spiders. Do not use the mine thrower on them. If you do, they'll have like three seconds to like chase you down and uh, take you with them. I swear that, I'm like, the mine thrower just sucks. Over here, we got some red herbs. Probably pick those up so we can make some more full heals. Too many green herbs, not enough red herbs. <laughs> That's what I found to be <laughs> the consess. The, uh, the, uh, <laughs> whatever you call it. Up here. Yeah, something here. A silver gear. Interesting. Also got some gunpowder. I'll take it. Probably won't make any uh, handgun. Like a, a bolts with it, though. I think we already have enough. <laughs> yeah, we're doing pretty good on handgun shotgun ammo, so let's throw these in here for when we find some gunpowder bees. Let's make some more full heals. Nice. Three full heals. Have enough green herbs. Assuming we find red herbs to make <laughs> four more. Or we we can also combine three of these greens to make a full heal right there. So, yeah, it's damn good. We got to have quite a bit of life insurance. <laughs> right here.
All right, this puzzle. What you need to do is set the plugs in the right position to pretty much make the song sound like that. The combination, if I remember correctly, is up. Up. All right, not down, up. Down. Up. Oh, I didn't want to hit down again. Up. Down. And yeah, you know something? That's not the combination that I, that I, you know, that I recall. I watched a video series, someone else, you know, playing this game before I <laughs> did this, you know, so I wouldn't be, you know, you know playing this thing completely blind. The combination when they did it, uh, shout out to the, to, to, you know, not the guy right here. When he did this, it was up, down, up, up, down, up. I don't know if this version of the game changes it, but that would be pretty interesting if it did. Alright, there we go. And now we get this. The Kronos Chain. If we combine it with the Clock Tower Key. The Kronos Key. Awesome. Uh, by the way, don't take the silver gear with you. You really don't need it outside this room. So, yeah, just toss it in there. Oh, uh, also, uh, you might want to be careful out here, because you remember how the room shook when we were in the, when we were in, we were in the chapel earlier? That's why, man, even a grenade to the face couldn't stop this guy. Anyway, what you want to do is... Use the cord. <laughs> yeah, I freaking electrocute his ass. <laughs> zop of the zop zop. That's gotta hurt. But yeah, that counts as a free KO on Nemesis, and we get the first aid box. Uh, by the way, he's still active. Don't stick around. Just run. He's still right behind us. I didn't mean literally, Nemi. Yeah, I got punched. I should probably make a beeline for the save room. By the way, even though he was up there last time we saw him, if we go through here, oh, he's not here. Yeah, every time I've seen this game played. He would teleport into here somehow and freaking rush you from in here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he would pr pretty much come from down this hallway. I don't know how and I don't know why, but... Yeah, I'm obviously gonna not run around when I'm on yellow caution. I'm gonna drop off that first aid box. Grab myself a green herb. I'll burn one to get myself back to find. So, you know, I've got, I've got plenty of herbs still. I think I can spare one. I don't have to get past them. Go in here. I believe that this will reset them. If we go back in, he should be down the hallway. Yep. <laughs> Screw you, Nemesis. <laughs> Alright, once we're in here, he should, uh, I could get off our back for a minute. He's got spiders in here. 
Move quick. Move carefully. Spiders will not catch you. And yeah, the ominous music's gone, so we've lost them nemesis again. <laughs> Get that pocketbook. Most unfortunate. Oh boy. All oh, those rounds from the mine fairy here. I guess I can show off <laughs> that hope. Like, <laughs> that hope weapon later. Uh, Jill cannot move this, so we can't go that way. Right now, we got a puzzle to do. This is one of the more annoying puzzles in this game. Mainly because the solution is just a complete, like, kind of random. Like a lot of things in this game, it's kind of random. I don't exactly remember the solution, so I'm actually gonna pause the recording here. I'll do my best to solve this, and when I solve it, I'll yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you guys then. You know, I'm not gonna make you watch me like like fumble this for like five, like uh, five or ten. Yeah. Yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah, the solution to that puzzle can be a little random. And I'm not gonna lie. I've heard a lot of players, you know, complain about this puzzle. And I mean a lot of players. It is a pretty confusing puzzle, to say the least, so... I can definitely see where you might, uh, you know, have some trouble with that one. Yeah. Yeah. A Resident Evil 3, it's... It's got some doozies. It's, it's got some doozies of puzzles in it. I don't even think we've seen the worst one yet. Oh god, I am dreading one of the later puzzles we're going to see. I am not gonna have fun with that puzzle. Just saying it right now. Anyway, let's move on. We got the other half of that gear, so we want to go back up here. Obviously, you know, I'll drop off on my firm rounds. I don't know if I'm going to show it off in, uh, in, in, you know, like the next boss fight or what. On account of the fact I hate that thing, but I don't know. Anyway, let's grab that out. Combine them. And use it here. And the bell for the clock tower is ringing. And if you read the files, you would know that ringing the bell signals uh, the extraction chopper that uh, that uh, uh, Nikolai actually mentioned before. So there you go. It also signals something else to happen. I'm just gonna say right now. Get your. Get your heaviest artillery, all your healing items, and get ready for total war, because things are going to get a little dicey here. Things are going to get really dicey. That said, I got three herbs, 17 freeze rounds, and I still have the magnum that I haven't used. Obviously, I got the Western Custom now, so... I think that should be enough. So, let's go. Ugh. 
This is gonna get ugly. You're saved. Down here! It's finally over. Huh? Well, there goes our, there goes our, there goes our great escape plan up in flames along with, uh, along with, you know, like, you know, half a clock tower. And Carlos is going to show up to help us. This happens if you use uh, the emergency brake on the train. If you don't use it, if you just, you know, if you just jump out the window. You don't get this scene of Carlos blowing up Nemesis rocket launcher, which is freaking badass. And then, of course, you have to actually deal with Nemesis with the rocket launcher, which is not fun. Honestly, I'd argue he's a lot easier without it, because then you can slow him down with freeze rounds. You can't really slow down rockets with freeze rounds. Oh boy, he's coming for me. Okay, guys, this is my second attempt at this fight because, you know, actually, because I actually <laughs> died on my first attempt. It's not cool. Ah, dodged. Bastard. Ah, get off the corner, Jill. Damn it, stop dodging me. Lose one now. Alright, you want to dodge me all the time. Here, eat Magna. Shoot, tried to dodge there and it didn't work. Get up. Damn it. Yeah, I think I dodged there, but it didn't work. I still got hit. There we go. That's better. Yeah, again, since you're on virus position in this battle, you so know what to tell what level health you're on until you start limping. Danger. Heal. Yeah. There we go. Got him. Yeah, if you really want to have some health items going into that fight, if you go into that fight with no herbs or anything, you're probably gonna die. Just saying it right now. The main thing that's going to get you in that fight is the fact you can't tell what health you're on. Fine, caution, danger. Uh. That virus status freaking <laughs> overrides the health meter, so... Yeah, really, unless you're actually lucky enough to see Jill limping, you won't see... You won't be able to know if you're on danger or not. Jill! Jill! Ooh. Hey, don't die on me. Ooh. Looks like Jill's in bad shape. Jill! Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. And it's worth noting that in that little time jump between September 28th and October 1st, that is when Resident Evil 2 takes place, though. By now, Leon and Claire are Carlos? gone from Racket City. It looks City. like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. Sure about that? I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. That's good. But that's what bothers me. So you're not okay. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? You're made of wax. <laughs> don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. If I turn into a zombie, don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. Oh. <laughs> I'll say Jill's in bad shape. 
And now we get to play as Carlos. Yeah, we're gonna be stuck with Carlos for a, a little while. He's got an assault rifle and a handgun. And yeah, they, you know, they they did you a solid with Carlos and uh, I'll put the knife away. Like already, so. Because the knife offends us as, uh, as, as, uh, as, you know, Resident Evil players. Run, run. Ha! Dodged him. <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread mercenary. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that helicopter crash did some heavy damage. We can't go this way. And we can't go up there. So if you miss anything up there, it's gone now. <laughs> so, let's go this way. Uh, there's nothing down that way. Don't bother going that way. We Let's go this way. What the ladder of the spoilers. Except now there's these liquor knockoffs in here. Yeah, I think they're called the drain demos or something like that. Yeah, I, I always, I always, you know, like to think of them as like a, a bootleg like liquors. Bell for the clock tower. I can push it. Yeah, it's interesting how Jill can't move this, but Carlos can. Because he's a masculine man with muscles. Probably freaking a deadlift, like a 700 pounds or something. Uh, we got some zombies over here. Should we take care of them in short order. Come on, zombies. Yummy. There's nothing in any of these cars, so don't bother searching. We're going here. To the Raccoon Hospital. I don't like this place. And you're about to see why. And I should probably get the... Get the assault rifle back out. Uh... This place kind of sucks. You know why? Because of that guy. You saw him in. You saw him in <laughs> Resident Evil One. They're back for the sequel. Say hello to the hunters. These guys are. Freaking assholes! <laughs> Pretty much, if you get down to Yellow Caution, they have an attack that can insta-kill you. They just swipe your friggin' head off. <laughs> Keep some healing items on hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right now. Here's another ink ribbon. I'll probably <laughs> toss that in the item box. There's a first aid spray right there if you need it. And honestly, if you don't care about your ranking at the end of the game, I would suggest you take that uh, uh, a first aid spray with you. You know, considering those hunters have an insta-kill move. <laughs> They're pretty dangerous. For some reason, they give you a blue herb here, even though there's... Nothing in, like, a Carlos, you know, little section here that can actually poison you, so... I don't know why they bothered, but... Eh. Anyway. The bullets? I must well... Yeah, just to reload that thing. Just be on the safe side. It's only a single bullet, but... You never know. Especially in these games. I need to find some green herbs somewhere. Anyway, this section. I need to use the voice of someone the thing recognizes. This should do it. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However, however, 
Yeah, Carlos can't open that because, you know, he doesn't sound that posh. He sounds like he's been smoking for too many years. <laughs> uh, keep the assault rifle handy when you go through <laughs> this elevator because... Oh. Yeah, on... Yeah, on well, one, one of these floors, a uh, herd of zombies will actually, you know, will actually rush you, so you want to have the assault rifle handy. I want to get the pistol out. So one of these is a bunch of uh, snake-looking things, leeches. Buy free one, okay. Uh, I don't trust that. Are you gonna wake up? No. Oh. I didn't shot at you and you did nothing. Now you get up. Stupid zombies. Oh well, grab these herbs and let's go. Wake up. Five, three, one. Remember those numbers. We're gonna need them. And yeah, I would advise you try and uh, conserve some of your uh, assault, <laughs> like rifle ammo, because you don't get any more for it. You want to have at least uh, fifty to. Don't oh. shoot! No! Nikolai. You're still alive? You saw what happened? What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! Oh. <laughs> Damn. Look at Nikolai, so... Nikolai shot this guy for some reason. Hmm. He said he was a supervisor. Huh. Weird. Yeah, we'll find out what's up with that later. Now let's look around. There's nothing in here. Actually, there is something in here. I should probably you know, do that so I got room for it. Here we have secret key and a file. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything here. There. And I don't think there's anything here, so. Yep. Let's go. But anyway, as I was saying, the assault rifle. You want to try and have, like, 50 to 60 percent of its uh, ammo left by, by like <laughs> at the end of the section. There's something we'll be doing later. I think in here is where I want to be quick on, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> quick on the draw here. Oh no, <laughs> I know this leech is in uh, one of these rooms. I don't remember where they are, though. I think they're probably downstairs somewhere. Anyway, I need to up look in here again. Don't remember the solution, the solution to this puzzle. Yeah, that zombie's gone. Uh, there. Okay. So they're directly across from the door. We actually have to replicate that. Put that in here. Using this. And if we get it wrong, then it'll shock us and go. Psst. Because that's the thing they have in. Uh, because that's the thing they have in hospitals, apparently. Uh, probably, at, uh, you know, so double the ladies from like uh, moving the furniture around. That should be right. Yes. Bingo. Check this. 
five, three, one. Bingo. Vaccine base. That's the first half of the vaccine. Now we have to go to the basement to get the second half. So, let's do it. I think I better get the assault rifle back out. <laughs> yeah, a horde of zombies wasn't up here, so down in the basement. There they are. Eat that horde. All right. Let's come here. Oh, Hunter. Ow. Stop it. I hear, an, I hear another one. There he is. Gotcha. <laughs> Dumbass. Hunters are not fun to deal with. It doesn't matter what the Resident Evil game. They are always annoying to deal with. <laughs> anyway, in here. You've got some interesting looking stuff. The medium base. We have, an, we have another puzzle. I think this file will uh, tell us about it. Hm. So pretty much, yeah, just mess with this thing until you actually <laughs> get it right. Those things don't look friendly. What's this? this? Hmm. I don't remember the solution to this. This one you may have to just uh, you may have to just uh, fumble around a bit until you uh, until you like I think get it right. I feel like I'm close, but not quite. I know it's one of the ones above and one of the ones down below. Ah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys uh, back here when I, uh, I figure it out. All right, there we go. Got it. Also, I think I should probably let you guys know. While I was trying to figure that puzzle out, I might have accidentally, sort of accidentally hit the reset button and had to redo that fight with Nemesis, so I did do better on my second time around. I think I only used a single herb, so yeah, at least the fight went uh, went a little more smoothly. Uh-oh. Run! I am not dealing with those damn things. Not without the grenade launcher. Right, let's just... Let's just, uh... <laughs> get the heck out of here. As fast as we can. Run, run, run. run. Oh. Screw you. Oh, damn. I actually got both of them with that thing. Awesome. 
right. Let's make our escape. I think there's gonna be more hunters out here, so... Yep, there they are. Ow. Die. Gah. Blue beans. This is still here. I'll pick this up. Cool. Yeah, so got plenty of ammo, so we should be uh, so we should be all set for well, what's up next. Don't even need that first aid spray. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh oh, a bomb! Run, Carlos! Run! <laughs> run, fat boy! Run! Run, fat boy! Run! <laughs> Come on! Well, there goes. <laughs> I'm at the hospital. It's all up in flames now. <laughs> yep, it's all gone now. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Alright. Done that. Let's. Well. It's gonna move on. Uh oh. Zombies in here, but they don't matter. You heard that crash upstairs. Someone's waiting for us. Spider. Oh boy. Someone's waiting for us. Guess who? <laughs> He's not finished yet. Ah, shoot. How dare you? You can't do that to Carlos. You must be with it. As he's on screen, just unload on his ass. Get up, Carlos. Uh, yellow caution, pick him up, hey. Shit, he's going for Jill. We got Chase after him. <laughs> we are in hot pursuit. This is one right now. It doesn't matter. We won't be in. <laughs> yeah, we won't be <laughs> controlling Carlos much longer anyway. And I just did a clip through the wall there. That was interesting. Knock that off. Wall. Too much health left. Yes! Got him! <laughs> Take that, you freaking blubber nugget. Interesting thing. You do not have to fight Nemesis as Carlos here. But if you do, not only will it change the cutscene, you know, like over here, when you next, uh, like, speak to Jill, you know, after you, uh, after you, like, uh, after you give her the vaccine, he will actually be weakened the next time Jill fights him. He'll have less health. So if you're going for an all, like, like, so yeah, if you're going for an all Nemesis kill run, like I am, 
you want to fight him as Carlos. We'll make it. You barely made it. Jill's job easier. How do you feel? I'm okay. What happened to you? I just fought with that monster. Uh, I've got some bad news. Nikolai's still alive. But I thought he was dead. <laughs> that guy doesn't know the meaning of the word dead. What is he after? I don't know. All I know is that he is our enemy. I'm sorry, Jill, but there's something I gotta take care of. I promise I'll meet up with you later. But don't worry. <laughs> Alright, and with that, we're back in... Well, we're back in control of Jill. Yeah, as you can see, I still got two herbs, so... I, I managed to do marginally better against that fight with against that uh, a fight with Nemesis. It's good. I think I'll put the magnum away now. I won't. I won't. Uh, I need. Well, I won't need it for a little while. Ugh. Man. This has been quite an episode of. <laughs> Quite an episode of RE3, hasn't it? I think it's time to save. Call it a night. Go to the chapel, cause there's monsters infested in there. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. But wait, there's more before we find, before we fully, you know, like if I finish off this episode, I just want to show off something that happens when, you know, when, when you, know, when you encounter Nemesis here. Yeah, Nemesis is pretty easy to dodge when he's using that tentacle. There's something you should know. Carlos is not his main target. He's still after Jill. So if enough time goes by and you do nothing, you know, he's gonna... Uh, you saw it, you know, when I was actually fighting him, but... It'll happen here eventually, if, if the idol shoot him. Jeez, this right now, huh? I might as well be shooting at him. Come on, Nemesis. What you're supposed to be doing? Get up, Carlos. Stop wasting time, Nemesis. I'm supposed to be ending this episode. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> there it goes. Took long enough. Yeah, he's gonna go in there. And actually, I can uh, such but to go this way. Funny. Jill. Uh oh. Yeah, you get that. Now we have to hurry to the <laughs> Jill side. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry, 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 hurry! <laughs> oh boy. Go away, Nemesis. Ah, yep. There goes busting the door down. We gotta hurry. I am. As I said, his main target is Jill, so if you just, you know, go around too long and don't do anything. Well, whoa, jeez, turn around and aim at me. <laughs> I won't do anything to you, Nemi. He's gonna heal and move back. <laughs> Ah, yes. 
There he goes. No! Yep, he breaks into, you know, let's save him and kills Jill, so... Yeah, when you're fighting him with Carlos, don't go, you know, so, don't go, you know, so, screwballing around like I did. Either fight or race to Jill's side.